<laughs> Never, every year so I'm not doing this again. <laughs> oh. <laughs> right, we're all here. Well, what, what I just thought we'd do this morning, um, just before we start, is, um, I, I was telling you last night, but um, I do ask Jenny during the course of the year, any suggestions come back from the members about what we could do. And I think the thing that Jenny tells me more than anything else is something in memory of dear old Um Somebody was reminding me again this morning about the people who came last night. The last time he came to the club weekend, he actually came from his hospital bed. Um, they told me he had like hours to live. Stan actually phoned me from hospital to say, I will not miss the club weekend. I will be there. And he was. It was quite, it was really, really quite amazing. Um, and it was lovely that he managed to do that. And, and he, he lived for Emmerdale and he lived for the club. And I genuinely mean that. He was always asking about you all. So I just thought, right as it's Sunday, here we go. Put my white collar on. We'll just have a quick. I just wrote just a few little things during the week. I'm still doodle in the office. I'm not very good at this. I'm not very good at making speeches or doing things like that. So forgive me. But I just thought we'd have just a moment of sort of reminiscing of, of dear old Stan. Okay, so it, it'll take literally two minutes. And forgive me if you don't like this sort of thing. I'm still no. going to do it. All right. <laughs> but I just thought it was worth saying about Seth Armstrong. Okay. If I can get through this, because I'm terrible. <coughs> he he first appeared back in 1978, if you remember, and he started life in Emmerdale as the school boiler man. Yeah. You remember him? And then from there, he went on and joined NY Estates as the gamekeeper, and he worked to Alan Turner. Alan Turner, in fact, became Seth Armstrong's lifelong friend. But then, NY Estates was sold, and it was bought by a lady called Stella Jones, who was a friend of Eric Pollard. Eric Pollard, who was one of Eric's, one of Eric's well, Eric Pollard was brought onto the estate by Stella, and he sacked Seth. Eric being the dastardly guy. Here. So Seth, instead of being poacher turned gamekeeper, became gamekeeper turned poacher, and he became that army poacher. Of course, Seth had been married to Meg, um, who you never saw. I think we saw her once. And it was a volatile relationship with Meg. He used to talk about her all the time. But it devastated him when she died after a long illness. He was completely devastated.